Welcome to the Lotus Goddess Divine Love. Hi everyone, how's everyone doing today? Hope you're doing well and staying safe. Welcome back everyone. Welcome if you're new to my channel. I do Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, Twin Flame Journey Charm Readings. And let's begin and just keep in mind that this is a general reading. So I just, I don't know, I just feel like I should pull out a charm, jumbo charm. I wasn't planning to do this, but let's see what message comes through. Okay, what do we have here? Ooh, swans, they're in it for life. How beautiful, this is a male swan. This is a masculine swan. I have two swans in there. One is a feminine, one is masculine. Ooh, where are you sliding to, masculine? Slow down, slow down. <laughs> I feel like, I feel like, um, you know, it's kind of like that expression, like weak in the knees. <laughs> but this one, it looks like he's just like sliding onto the tray. Mesmerized. <laughs> it's literally coming close to the Divine Feminine. To all of you. <laughs> okay, let's see. So if this reading doesn't resonate, that's okay. You can have a look at one of my other readings. These readings are timeless. Okay, let's see. Oh, oh, okay. The first thing I see here, it's so beautiful. I see here that there's a support system for Divine Masculine. There's a few people who really care for Divine Masculine that are helping Divine Masculine transform their life. They have noticed that this Divine Masculine has um, been struggling, meaning that they are really tired. They may, be, um, they may be in their single season. Maybe they're just keeping an eye on Divine Masculine. It's like, Masculine, how are you doing? Are you all right? Like, we haven't heard from you in some time. Um, how's things, you know? So I feel like people are checking in on Masculine here in this reading. I see her of... Um, there's loved ones uh, trying to transform Divine Masculine's life. So Masculine may have even um, seeked out for some kind of like um, support from their loved ones. It's like, I've done this long enough on my own. Maybe it's time that I, you know, return home to, to my loved ones, whether it be their parents or siblings, whatever the case may be. But I feel like they're like, maybe it's time for me to reconnect with my family, with my my friends, those who care about me. And when I say family, that also includes you, Divine Feminine. Come, you come in that, in that love energy, so that closeness, okay? So I see here that reaching out to loved ones um, for some sort of, uh, I don't feel it's like financial support. It's more of like um, support, like um, as guidance or, uh, just to just to help divine mask and get back on track again there's a lot of um a lot of conversations that are taking place between divine mask and, and um i feel they're family members here this is something that was not um planned this is something that has happened all of a sudden unexpected i feel like um the family members they didn't when they asked divine masculine how are you doing i feel like they didn't expect divine masculine to uh, open up because i feel like they were just it was genuine it it is a genuine um just to see how are you doing divine masculine like they they just wanted to check in right but i feel like divine masculine's like i'm glad you asked i'm glad um you made my day you made um you made my month like i i feel like this to my masculines like i i haven't had um this kind of this kind of conversation in a long time and i just need someone to talk to so i see here that this masculine is feeling the need to express themselves um they have been holding a lot back uh, when it comes to how they feel um even ex expressing um, conversation i feel this masculine may have gone in a silent mode for some time it's like it's like they chose to go in hiding um 
what is going on here? What the heck? I'm going to pull out some more charms here. Oh, no wonder this Divine Masculine wants to talk. They're talking about their uh, relationship with, with this karmic person. What went on? There was something that ended with this karmic person. So they may have been in a relationship before. And then they were in a relationship again. So that was their ex. Okay. So it's not going to resonate with everyone. But I see here that it happened twice. That they were in this relationship with this person twi twice. Uh, the first time was something that was short. But the second time it was something that was quite long. This masculine is talking about they didn't understand who they were with. They didn't, um, they underestimated this person. They didn't know who this person was. They thought that the person that they were with was somebody that they appeared to. I feel like they gave an image in the past of somebody who they felt like this is the one. This is somebody who's very similar to me. We, we connect, um, we have this connection. But the second time when they came together, this Divine Masculine had a vision of this person. It's kind of like this image of this person that they are like this. But they, they didn't know how much this person has changed. I feel like that, that, um, the essence of that person was always the same. But it's like you, you think you knew your karmic person then, but look at them now. Like, the amount of time that they spend with them, this karmic person, you know how we say like over time, you know, you evolve, you grow in your spiritual path, you transform. This karmic person transformed all right, but not for the better. This person, I see here that when it comes to um, being with the, with the divine masculine in the past, it was something that was, eh, it was okay. You know, like it would have not really, um, interfered in masculine's life in any way it wouldn't have affected my mask in any way um i feel like it was just like inexperienced i feel like it's something that this karmic person was inexperienced let's just say that but over time by the time divine masculine reconnected with this person and and the amount of time that they spent with this person this person really transformed and it's it's heavy like the energy it's like I feel like the energy of this, it just kept building and building and building. The visualization, visualization I'm getting is like, like say if you have a little snowball, right? It starts off with snowball. It's like, oh, this is not going to do any harm. Just toss it at somebody and it, poof, it breaks, right? You know, like you have those like little snowball um, games, you know, in the winter time. So it it doesn't, it's playful, right? It's a playful energy. It's, but there, there's still like, it can still sting like a snowball. If it's hard, it's going to hurt, right? So this, this, situation like i'm referring to the karmic person so in the past it was like a little snowball it's like okay it, it stings a little bit but it's still it's all right you know like my shirt will you know will not um get soaked like it's fine you know like i'll just dust off the snow but over time that snowball just rolled 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 into this massive ball like massive snowball and it's not, it's no longer a white snowball. It's like, it's got twigs in there. It's got um, maybe like snowman's missing hat in there. Like there, there's a lot of things that have accumulated in that time, right? Where this snowball is not only massive, but it's, it doesn't look like it's gentle. It's, it's no longer gentle. It's, it's kind of icy at this point, right? So imagine throwing that. You know, like that's, that's going to not only sting, but that's going to hurt, right? So 
this energy has accumulated a lot of things. It's like picking up a lot of, um, I feel like, low vibrational energy that has built up to this point. And I see here that this Divine Masculine explains to the loved ones that this is what has been going on for all this time. That they didn't expect it to be like this. It's, I expected to have this cute little snowball. But look what I ended up with. This massive snowball that has all these twigs and, and candy wrappers and whatever is in there. <laughs> it's like it no longer, um, it no longer feels nice. There's a heaviness here. This Divine Masculine talks about the heaviness. There was gossip um, from the karmic side. This Divine Masculine talks about the immaturity, immature behavior of this person. They felt very weak at times because there was a lot of gossip going on. They were trying to protect their image. Divine Masculine was trying to protect themselves, like their own image, because I feel like there was some kind of uh, thing that was spreading around different social groups that Divine Masculine was connected to um, when it came to this person. It came to Divine Masculine's knowledge, awareness, that a lot of these things or the rumors or the information started, the root cause or the start, the root of it started with their, with their um, karmic partner. Divine Masculine made a decision that they need to um, step away from the connection here. Um, they were guided a few times by the divine, but they didn't feel ready to, to move away. Uh, one of the reasons was because they weren't ready to face the divine feminine yet. It's like, let me fix things first. Uh, let me get things in order first. Let me be more uh, stable. And I don't feel like financially stable. That may be one of the things, but it's more like emotionally. Let me be in balance. Let me build my strength first so I can come before the divine feminine. Because they, I feel like this was instant. They right away knew that you were the one. There was, there was a lot of cleansing here that took place. There was realization. There was an awareness of the connection between you and Divine Masculine. There were a number of things that reminded Divine Masculine of you, of your love for them. This Masculine wanted to um, separate from this person multiple times. I feel like once they got to know um, what they were in, they knew that their happiness lied in, in making a choice, making a change. And they knew that in order to get the happiness that they, that they felt that they deserved, they would need to make the change first. I feel they, they knew that I cannot seek for happiness outside of myself. It's just that I need to make the change first in order to feel that happiness that it's like surrender so that I can feel the emotions that I need to feel, get myself in an energy that is more positive so I can absorb that energy, so I can feel the emotions of love, happiness, joy, freedom. But if you're surrounded in an energy where it's a low vibration, it's like how can you even think about um, self-love if you are absorbing energies of the external, right? So this Divine Masculine knew that in order for me to have the happiness, the love that I seek, that I desire within, I have to make the changes on the external as well. So yes, it does start with internally, but in this case, it's more of like, it's hard for this Divine Masculine to be in balance, to, to be in that happiness. Like how, it's like, how can I how can I feel joy? How can I have a smile on my face when I return to this? And I feel like this energy was, um, I feel like a harsh energy. It's not something that is um, balanced. It doesn't feel like it's something that is uh, neutral or calm. I feel like how can this divine masculine smile in the storm, basically? So this Divine Masculine knew that it starts with me. I need to make a change, a choice for myself. Put myself first. Yes, that's the first step to self-love, right? Put self first in an unselfish way, right? 
it's a different energy here. It's like, let me take care of myself first and then, then the rest will follow. One more thing I see here in this reading that this Divine Masculine, they know that it is not going to be easy to shift from one energy to the other. So being in a, I feel like this is somebody who was in a very heavy, feels like a very heavy situation. That's why they are talking about this with their loved ones. It's like they they know what it feels to be in some sort of darkness. It's like a dark night of the soul kind of energy. It's like they know what it feels like to be there. And they also know that in order for me to move forward to step into the new, I need to stand up for myself, put myself first to take care of self and to focus on my connection, not only my connection with, with the divine, but that connection like within, going within. There is hope here because I see here that this Divine Masculine is like when they start the new cycle, it will start off small. It's like baby steps. This Masculine will take small actions, positive actions towards love, self-love, self-worth to build their, their home. I feel like their new environment. I feel like it is the physical home, but it is also like home within to rebuild to rebuild the connection, to have that balance of the energy between the divine mask and divine feminine coming into union within. So this is the reading for today. I hope you like this reading. If you like this reading, please subscribe to my channel, leave a comment below, and thank you all for watching. Have a great day. Bye everyone.